Welcome to the Cedar Ridge Campers YouTube channel where we test the durability and functionality of our trailers all while enjoying the great outdoors. Welcome to part three of our Alaska series. Today we are going to be exploring the Hatcher Pass area. After a quick breakfast, we packed up camp and headed out. This area is so beautiful with its open valleys, jagged mountains, and bright green tundra. The Hatcher Pass Summit has an elevation of 3,886 feet. The access road through this area is unpaved and very steep and is only open through the summer months. Next, we toured the Independence Mine area. The Independence Mining Operation was the second largest hard rock gold mining operation in the state. After that, we found a nice spot to stop and make lunch. We love how easy it is to have some good food cooked up in no time with our simple kitchen setup. Along the creek, we found some dry driftwood logs that we cut and split for firewood. This front tongue platform worked excellent to strap it down and transport it to camp. Now we can have a nice roaring fire. After scoping out a couple other spots along the creek, we decided to return to the same lovely spot we had found the night before. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. We forgot to film an intro um, this morning or last night when we pulled into this site, um, but we like this site so much that we stayed here again tonight. Um, we are close to the Hatcher Pass out here in Alaska. We got the beautiful creek in the background set up here on this gravel edge. It's been absolutely beautiful the last few days. No rain, no mosquitoes. It seems like I probably mentioned uh, the mosquito thing a few times. We thought it was going to be really bad, but honestly, it's the mosquitoes haven't been any worse here than they are in Kentucky hardly, so uh, it's been great. The next morning, we realized it was the last sunny day predicted in the forecast, so we decided to take advantage of that and drive up to see Denali. So after packing up camp, we headed north. Denali is the tallest mountain in North America at 20,310 feet. Because of its height, it creates its own weather and is often shrouded in clouds. It is estimated that only 30% of visitors to the park actually get to see the mountain.
We were able to get a glimpse of the peak and shoulder of the mountain as shown on the right side of the screen here. We enjoyed a beautiful hike with mountain views all around and even some fresh blueberries. Then it was time to head back south down through Anchorage. We drove late in the day in hopes of getting to the town of Seward down on the Kenai Peninsula in good time tomorrow. Good morning everyone. Yesterday we left the Hatcher Pass area yesterday morning and we headed up to the Denelli um, National or State Park area and we were actually fortunate enough to see Denelli or the peak of it. There was still some clouds around the middle of it um, and then we did a, a hiking trail. Um, I think it was a Curry Ridge hiking trail. Beautiful trail, absolutely beautiful day yesterday. After we got done hiking that trail, we decided that uh, the rain was kind of going to start moving in on Thursday and Friday. Today is Wednesday. And so we were going to head down to the Seward area. We're probably about an hour out um, from Seward right now. We found this little camping spot close to the edge of the road. Really nice, quiet spot. I mean, it was beautiful and private. Got a little um, pond or lake out the side here, not right beside it, but Anyhow, we're going to head down to Seward today. Since it was such a beautiful day, we decided to go on a short hike and see a glacier instead of heading straight to Seward. We were so glad we did. This was a very scenic area and we thoroughly enjoyed the hike and the scenery. After arriving in Seward, we spent some time down at the bay watching the endless waves rolling in. Then we found a nice spot to set up camp.
it was time to make dinner. Tonight, it's ham chowder and pan-fried cornbread, the perfect hot meal for a cool, damp evening. Hey everyone, it's evening here now. Uh, we just ate supper and Violet's doing the dishes. If I do a video like this, then maybe I don't have to do the dishes, I guess. But anyhow, <laughs> um, we ended up this morning not spending, or we spent a little bit of time around where we stayed night, and we hiked up to the Byron Glacier. And then we um, took our time, made it down here to Seward, um, went out to the, the bay a little bit, spent a little bit of time there, and then we found this absolutely beautiful campsite right here beside this little stream. Um, totally quiet, there isn't anybody around. The salmon are going up the creek here, so that's pretty cool. So yeah, I close it off for this evening. So far the rain hasn't moved in. It's definitely clouded up, but we've had a really enjoyable evening beside the creek here. I think it'll probably be raining tomorrow, I'm kind of guessing. In the morning, the predicted rain had arrived, so we opted to go have breakfast and coffee in town. After doing laundry at the local laundromat, we headed back to camp. We enjoyed sitting under our large awning and watching it rain. Meanwhile, Ruger spent the afternoon fishing for salmon. Much to his delight, he actually caught several. This was highly entertaining for all of us. The next day was our last day in the Seward area, so we decided, good weather or not, we were going hiking. We got a water taxi to take us seven miles out into the bay. Here we were dropped off to hike up to Kane's Head, a 650 foot bluff out on a point overlooking the ocean. An old World War II fort is located at the top of the bluff. It was built to defend Seward, one of Alaska's most valuable ports against Japanese attack. The underground bunkers are all still there, so of course we had to explore them. Although, I'll have to admit, it was a bit spooky walking these dark, echoey corridors, knowing we were the only people out here on this drizzly day. Even though we couldn't see the view from the top of the bluff, we thoroughly enjoyed the hike and getting to explore a piece of American history. All the moss, ferns, and mushrooms were so lush and plentiful. That definitely added to the whole hiking experience as well.
then of course we had to stop at this cute little cup shaped coffee shack for something delicious and warm to sip while we headed down the road to Homer. Hey everyone, today we drove up from Seward up to Homer, or down to Homer, I guess, and uh, drove into the rain. Well, we drove out of the rain. It rained some this morning in Seward. This afternoon we drove out here to Homer. It's about a, probably about a three hour drive. And we're camping out here right beside the ocean. Um, it's raining, so we got our 180 degree awning out, and then we, set up a tarp in the back here just strung it up over the back I don't know if you can see it too much it's keeping us really well sheltered getting some dinner made here what are we having tonight Violet we are having ground beef chimichangas we've got some queso right here to top them with and yeah and frying them up right there food. it's gonna be really good we did these the other night um, off video and they were, they were awesome. Probably one of the better meals um, we've had out here so far, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, so, yep, that's what we're doing tonight. We're gonna try to stay dry. So far we have been. Um, it's probably about 55 and a little bit breezy and damp out here. So it's not exactly warm, but hey, it ain't bad at all. We're experiencing Alaska, I guess the Alaska way. The next day was another rainy one. We headed into town for some delicious coffee and soon found our way out on the spit where all the tourist shops and restaurants are. We encountered a lovely live band of seniors adding some cheer to the dreary day. Today we're heading north out of the Kenai Peninsula and ultimately out of Alaska, which is a sad thought. We have thoroughly enjoyed our time here and would love to stay longer. Since we hadn't been to Whittier yet, we decided to swing through on our way out. To get to Whittier, you have to pass through the Anton Anderson Memorial Tunnel. It is the longest highway tunnel in North America at two and a half miles long. It takes approximately 10 minutes to get through it. To me, this felt like a long time to be driving underneath a mountain. So I was glad when we finally saw the light of day on the other side.
we found some delicious fish and chips at this neat little cafe on the waterfront. Then it was back on the road again. Hey everyone, we're at this beautiful campsite here um, just outside of Glen Ellen. I'm overlooking the, it's a glacier in the background and some lakes down in the valley there. Absolutely beautiful spot here. Um, we spent the day driving out of the Kenai Peninsula. Unfortunately, it was raining. It rained pretty much all day up until probably about 30 miles back. Um, now it's sunny and beautiful out here, but um, it was raining in Whittier and couldn't see the mountains very good. What we could see was absolutely beautiful. Um, we drove up, yeah, through Anchorage and then up here close to Glen Allen. And we're going to spend the evening here relaxing and enjoying the beautiful view. Here's a quick look at our shower setup. We've got 23 gallons of water on board and a propane water heater. Now we're all set up for a nice hot outdoor shower. We have a privacy curtain to hang up if we need it, but tonight we're out in the middle of nowhere, so we'll skip that extra step. We spent the whole day driving east out of Alaska and into the Yukon. Our plan is to drop south and cross back into Alaska tomorrow and spend some time in the town of Haines. Hey everyone, last we checked in, we was at Glen Ellen um, for night last night, or close to Glen Ellen, at a beautiful camp spot. And I think we actually just won up that one at this spot here close to Haines Junction in the Yukon. It's absolutely beautiful here. We uh, drove a little later tonight, it's about 9.30 right now at, at night, and we're gonna quick cook up some supper and pretty much go to bed. And tomorrow head into Haines. This will probably be the end of this video. So um, probably the next next video will be in, in Haines. So stay posted. <laughs> 